Little known fact, I am not a fan of science movies or movies of the like actually. I'm not sure why, but my mind just does not compute. I have childhood memories of my parents loving a good sit down movie to watch aliens, dragons, dinosaurs, futuristic flying cars, and wars. I can hear it now. Space, the final frontier. Check please. Fast forward to adulthood. I married a man and, ch and had children that also loved to do the same thing. Bruh, really? So imagine the way my mind began to break down, like for real. Mayday, 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 and go womp, 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 as I opened up my Bible to Revelation 12. It kind of went like this. Revelation 12, the movie. Starring the woman as Israel, the red dragon, also known as Satan. The male child, a.k.a. Christ. The angel, also known as Michael. The story. A woman with child on the verge of birth is confronted and pursued by a ten-horned, seven-headed red dragon seeking to devour her child who is destined to rule nations with an iron scepter. An iron scepter? The child is born and snatched up to the heavens by God. The woman is whisked off by two wings of a great eagle. Two wings of a great eagle. To a place in the wilderness prepared to sustain her. The dragon. The dragon? The dragon. Oh, the dragon. He is mad, and war breaks out between Michael and his angels, and the dragon and his angels, and the dragon and his squad are overpowered and cast down to earth, where they committed to waging war. A war against the woman, Israel, her offspring, those that keep the commands of God, and hold fast to their testimony, of Jesus. The saga continues. So that's how this played out in my head. Real movie like, right? But it's real. This I know, that dragon is real. He is the evil one and his desire is to kill and destroy, not just Israel, but everyone that God loves. Satan will throw his tantrum. He knows in the end, he doesn't win. As I read and meditated and envisioned all of this in my spirit, I kept getting pulled and drawn to two particular verses. Verses 12, verses ch chapter 12, verses 10 through 11. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters who accuses them before our God day and night has been hurled down. They triumphed over him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. How many of you are battling things in your life? See, the scripture tells us that we triumph by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. A few years back, I had gone to my doctor for a specialty care appointment, a rather positive one. 
But after my scan, the doctor called me into his office, sat me down and told me that based on what he had seen, he had called the oncologist and that they believed that I had ovarian cancer. They wanted me to go to the lab and get specific blood work done and then off to radiology to get detailed scans done right away. My immediate response, by his stripes, I am healed. Every time I felt that something, a thought or anything was coming against that, I spoke it out loud. By his stripes, I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. The doctors thought I was nuts, of course. But I got my scans done and I returned to the office later that day. Yeah, same day service. How you like that? They probably felt a little bit of urgency based on what they saw. But when I sat down with them, they looked confused because what they saw in the scans just now were not what they saw in the scans before. You know why? Because by his stripes, I am healed. See, the battle was for my health and I overcame by the word because that is how I fight my battles. That is what we are instructed to do. Are you battling for your health? Are you battling for your marriage, your children, your finances, your life? Are you battling for your soul? Picture this. There is an army of angels battling on your behalf. They're holding the dragon back by its tail. The victory is yours. You can overcome by the word. Submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Have a blessed day.